Welcome to the Daily Devotionals podcast with Pastor Paul Pett from Redeemer Lutheran Church. Subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast app. Good afternoon, Redeemer family and everybody joining us on the internet around the world. Our devotion for this afternoon is based on our epistle reading for All Saints Day. The epistle reading for All Saints Day is 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 through 3. 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 through 3. See what kind of love the Father has given to us that we should be called children of God. And so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we will be has not yet appeared But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he is. And everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. I don't know if you have ever had this um, feeling that you recognize someone a little bit too late. Um, it happened to me a couple of times recently. Um, I was at uh, a Green Bay Packers game, and uh, a wife of one of our members um, kind of grabbed me by the arm as I was moving in my seat and jokingly said, hey, you're in the wrong seat, and um, not recognizing her right away and uh, not seeing who it was, um, I, I, I'm in the right seat, and then by that time, she had passed me, and I remembered who it was, and it couldn't greet her properly. And then uh, we had a pastor's conference just uh, a few days ago, and um, I ran into my brother's pastor from the southern part of Wisconsin and um, in passing, and I, I saw him, and his face registered, but I didn't connect it right away until... Uh, Minutes later, and then, oh, I know who that is, and then I, I was able to find him and, and greet him properly later. Um, and so, you know, sometimes we don't recognize somebody the way we ought to recognize someone. And that's probably a little bit of what John is saying here, but so much more is John saying when it comes to the world recognizing us. So listen in this first verse. It says, See what kind of love the Father has given to us that we should be called children of God, and so we are. Now in the second verse, or second sentence of verse 1, the reason why the world does not know us, it does not recognize us as being anything special. It does not recognize us as being children of God. It does not recognize us as being important or privileged or blessed. It just does not. And has no regard for us that way. You know, recently you may have heard in in a political rally, there were two uh, young men that shouted out, Jesus is Lord, and Christ is king, and they were summarily abused and removed from the rally when the speaker said, um, you're in the wrong rally. And and that's the way the world is. Because it doesn't see faith and doesn't care about faith, and the reason for that is because it doesn't know, doesn't see doesn't understand, doesn't believe in Jesus Christ. And and so the definition right here that we're hearing John give us, the reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. In uh, John's gospel in the first chapter, we hear those words. Oh, he came to his own, his own did not receive him, his own did not recognize him. And that 
was what we see in our world in regard to Jesus Christ and who he truly is, the Son of God, God himself incarnate, um, Savior of all mankind, Redeemer, and the one who has given us everlasting life. They do not see him that way. They do not believe in him that way. And so, along with him, we are disregarded, thought to be an annoyance. And so, as we listen to these words, then we long for something better. Continue in verse 2. Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we will be has not yet appeared. You see, we look forward to Jesus coming again. We look forward to Jesus coming again because we know that our individual lives will improve greatly when he returns. I'm not talking about political ways. I'm talking about every way. Physically, emotionally, spiritually, in every way, things will be so much better when Jesus comes again because Jesus will be coming again in his glory. And so we who believe in him will receive that, either raised from the dead or transformed right on the spot from having weak, lowly, sin-plagued, sin-corrupted bodies, having new, glorified, spirit-filled, renewed bodies, renewed by the power of his coming, renewed by his return. That's what we look forward to, and that's the way the verse finishes out. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him because we shall see him as as he is glorified as he was on the day of his resurrection, but even more so, more so like the day of his transfiguration in the full glory, the brightness of his face, the glowing of his clothes, and we will have a portion of that glory. His greater, but ours like his, similar to. And we look forward to that, and our hope is in that. But what about the here and now while we wait? Shouldn't we look more like him in the here and now? And that's what John's getting at. And anyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. We should look like him in the things that we say. We should look like them in the things that we do. We should look like him in the ways that we act. That's what he's calling us to. We are so blessed, so privileged to be called children of God because of the love God showered on us in his son, Jesus Christ, because he chose us to be his own. So shouldn't we want to look more like him? In Jesus' name, amen. Please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, we ask, fill us with your Holy Spirit, strengthen us in mind and in heart, that we might indeed desire to look more like you, being motivated by your love and grace. For you chose us to be your own and to live with you in glory forever. In your name, amen. Have a blessed Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow on Thursday, Reformation Day for some people, Halloween for others, but we will see you tomorrow on Thursday um, for tomorrow's devotion. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Thanks for listening. At Redeemer Lutheran Church, our mission is to share with all people the good news of Jesus Christ, teaching faith and love. Learn more about our ministry at RedeemerLutheranGB.com.